You're looking at uh, Greg Krantz, who's actually talking to me as we're here in the studio. He's the president of Delaware River Tubing. He's also the famous river hot dog man. How you doing, Greg? Good. How are you? Thank you for having me. By the way, before we talk about uh, Delaware River Tubing, where the customer is king, tell us about the fact that you just came from Atlantic City. The uh, folks at Travel and Tourism. Yes. Together with the governor, Governor John Corzine at the annual tourism conference gave you this. Guys, you get a shot of this? This is uh, presented to the famous river hot dog man in rec recognition of the unique role your business plays as a tourism destination in New Jersey. What makes you, Greg, the famous river hot dog man? Well, 22 years ago, uh, I got out of the United States Marine Corps and I moved into a little river town with my parents uh, and I met the owner of, the, of a tubing business and he suggested that I try setting up a hot dog stand out in the middle of the river. Get out of here. Is yeah, a hot dog stand in the middle of the river? You said get out of here, right? That's what I said. <laughs> I said so. And yeah, and I thought it was crazy, but uh, we started to do it. And we eventually landed on a really nice island in the middle of the river. So as you go tubing down the river, you float approximately three to four hours. I'm coming down three or four hours. I'm getting right. a little hungry. About halfway of the trip, you're going to see this floating hot dog stand. And we do cheeseburgers, chicken breasts, veggie burgers, you know, not just hot dogs anymore. Right. We started with just hot dogs. But anyway, um, you float up to the hot dog stand. We have over 30 picnic tables in the water. That's 22 years ago. And six years ago, we started Delaware River Tubing, which is our own tubing business on the New Jersey side. And it leaves out of Frenchtown. We're looking at, what are we looking at over here, by the way? Well, you're looking at the hot dog stand right there, and people park their tubes on a private island, which we own. My wife and I purchased out in the middle of the Delaware, just north of where Washington crossed the river. Gotcha. And they float, our customers float up, they have a wristband, and they stop. We give them a full meal. It's not just that they get two hot dogs or a cheeseburger or a large beverage, a frozen candy bar and a bag of chips. All that and a bag of chips. All that and a bag of chips. And then we have picnic tables in the water. And How do you keep it clean? Oh, it's unbelievably clean. Not only are we 100% Board of Health certified, we have the Gold Excellence Seal for the last four years, out of the, uh, four years in a row. But you're not telling me how you do it. Oh, well, um, well, it's already pretty pristine and clean out there. We so you it. demand that everyone participates, no one's throwing any wrappers around, no one's throwing garbage oh, around. No. Oh, that's a, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, number one, we have trash cans all on the beach, and nobody is allowed to take any. No, we don't allow food to go out with them when they go tubing, so they have a wristband. So when they get to the island, they have to eat everything on the island. They're not allowed to take anything when they leave, Got it. and it all has to go in the trash receptacles. Now, we don't just take our trash, we also take the independent tubers will stop on the island and they'll drop off their, if they, they brought some food in a the cooler, they'll draw, leave it there. And my competitors, customers also leave a lot of their trash on our island. So we, we no litter leaves. But the best part is, I have a dog, his name is Peace. Is it a golden retriever? Yes. Is that it? Is that yes, it? Peace. Yeah, that area. Peace is. is his name? Peace, as in war and peace. peace. I love it. And, um, Sometimes he's a piece of, yeah, I got but you. anyway, <laughs> he is, it's family show. He, yes, he will not let one piece of trash pass the island. So if a kid drops a cup in the water, you can come out and see this. We trained him just having fun. We took our bottle of water and poured out half the water and we're throwing it and he'd go get it. Well, after a while, he got so used to doing that. If he sees a wrapper floating down river, he swims and go gets it and brings it into oh, the shore. Great. This is All an environmentally long. sensitive dog. Very much so. Yes, he's very environmentally, and uh, he wants us to continue going green. By the way, I should let you know, we do a whole series. This is our Experience New Jersey series. We're doing another one. You log on to our website, you'll see it's called Living Green. Uh, your dog, Peace, is now going to be a part of that. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> he'll be proud of it. I was that. actually joking, but now I'm realizing it's, he's probably the most green-sensitive dog in the country. Yes. But I've got to ask you something. The time we have left, where did you come up with this? Um, this I... is ingenious. Well, thank you. Um, like I said, I moved, my parents moved to a little town on the, on the Pennsylvania side, and um, I, I met the owner of the original TV business. Yeah, I business. know, but this is you. This is you and your team. This is about imagination, creativity, stick to itness. How the heck did you coin, like, like corner this market? Because nobody's I, doing this. Uh, it is, well, I have had four or five competitors over the years, and it is interesting. We have fought it out. Thank you for asking that, because it, 
I am kind of proud of the hard work and the team of my family's work, the, the commitment that Is we've done. Business? Yes, my uh, my four sons work with me. My wife works with me. My the father, works with you. my dog, my father, my mother-in-law comes from Okinawa, Japan. Works three months during the summer. Uh, my father does group coordination, uh, volunteering uh, in his retirement. Um, winters he can go RVing. But you, but the thing is, Greg, you never are satisfied. You're constantly looking to raise the bar, do better customer service, create more interesting kinds of things, right? Well, that's why our slogan is, we're the customer's king, because we want the customers to be happy. You know, we, we want them to have a great time. I, I mean, you can get environmentally educated. Groups and families will come out on the river and be having a blast on a river that averages two to four feet in this section. It's a lazy river with a, little, a couple little tiny rapids. They're great for kids. Perfect. I got a three and a five year old and a 15 year old. Pull it off, all three? Three and up, three and up. Okay, so gotcha. under three, leave them with grandma. Gotcha. That way you can have more quality time with the older ones and bring them on out. And as you float down the river, they will see, uh, if they're lucky, they will see we have two resident bald eagles. I've seen the male and the female. I'm hoping they are making. Babies. Yes, I understand. Um, we have uh, turkey vultures with six foot wingspans. And from the hot dog stand itself, you can actually see the cliffs and the turkey vultures flying over your head. And all you see is this pristine paradise. Beautiful. And you're out there. And what's really nice for me is even if I wasn't doing this business, I would be spending my day out on that river anyway. And so, you're doing a business. And, I'm a, and you'd be there anyway. A very successful business. Ladies and gentlemen on the East Coast, watching us up in Maine, down in Washington, D.C., everywhere in between, you just met. Uh, the famous river hot dog man, he is Greg Kranz, and I'll tell you what, we are honored by having you here, and I wish more people had the vision, creativity, and the ability to make things happen the way you do. You're great. I love having you here. Thank you. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato's Experience New Jersey series is brought to you by the Department of State Division of Travel and Tourism. Funding for One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato is provided by the St. Barnabas Healthcare System, Wachovia, New Jersey Natural Gas, and by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Promotional support provided by NJBiz, all business, all New Jersey.